So Becca, you're sitting and you're trying to get, um, I don't know, you're, try, you're advocating. You, you, you want more money. Yeah, you want fair. You want it to be fair. And it's just not across the board. We can think of, I think tennis is the closest in terms of equal pay for um, men and women's sports. Do you ever get so frustrated where you're just like, what do I do? How do I make this crystal clear to you? Or do you feel uh, you have seen examples where they're blatantly disrespecting the worth of what the women bring? Yes, there are examples of blatant disrespect, and there was conversation that happened around it. So you could, if you, if you don't want to ever get to a point where you don't believe in your own self, such that you're not going to keep fighting. And I think that's what, what do we talk about back there? That it's a presumption until you, it's a presumption against you almost until you prove it. And so a lot of what was, while there was some just clear uh, disconnect in what we believe the value was and what they believe the value was, there was also a, an ability to go back to what shared goals were. And if you can keep the resolve and kind of keep tempers down, um, <laughs> Going back to what Kate said even earlier is that U.S. soccer really was where well, they were the pioneers, and so they they got it to some level, and now we're saying take it even further because there's more potential. And so sometimes, yes, you have to keep going back and keep saying sometimes the same thing, sometimes saying it's in a different way. It's bringing stats, it's bringing facts, and it's also it's helping other people come to the same answer themselves. I mean, we're women, and I think there are very much as a power in helping other people get there through letting them think it's their own idea in some ways, but also just what's our shared goal and let's work backwards to how we both achieve that together and let's create an incentive structure that we're all working together to get there. It's more, it's a long path sometimes to all get on the same page. It's a long path to get on the same page, you say? A long path, both internally and with sometimes the parties that you're working with. But Why? Why the parties that you're working with? Do you guys like ever work with people who you feel are working against you? when they don't understand it. How frustrating can that be? I, I find that that happens more when you don't have the same shared values. Um, I think there's different objectives when you're on a team and then you're also an individual athlete. And I think certain personalities can always influence things where it can be much more individualized and that's very, you know, that's contrary to what a team dynamic is. And I've always been a thing is if you, if you fill up, the water rises, everyone's higher and that everyone will benefit. Yeah. You don't need only one person rising up. So I think, I think that's sometimes what I Wait, found. say that again. Sorry, I understand. It. Oh my gosh, again. I have to remember that? You said, you said fill up. Rising, so you fill up. rising uh, tides lift all boats. Rising tides lift, lift all, all boats. boats. That's why she's, she's okay. <laughs> I like she it. She says it much more. Glad you got it. Yeah.